Well, obviously, Hook giving up a, a lot of size here to a veteran in Big J.D. Drake, who's a tough SOB for sure. That's true, Taz. That, that yeah. veteran is the key war, J.D. Drake. Yeah, J.D. Drake is very impressive. And nearly 20 years of in-ring experience in Hook. And I'm a professional. I'm going to talk about J.D. Drake. I'm talking about Hook, even though I got attacked last week and Eddie Kingston threatened my life as J.D. Drake makes it to the ropes. He doesn't have to worry about getting attacked from behind, does he, Starks? No, not at all. Oh, the pie face. Oh. It's a hard chop there. Massive chop delivered by J.D. Drake. Hook asking for one more. Oh! <laughs> It's just a headbutt. Yeah, it's a headbutt, a chop. That works. I've never seen that before. Jab step. Nice Kouchi Makakomi right there. Quick feet. Smell oh, that. JD Drake, though, with the up kick, knocks Hook off. Look at that. Again, the chop. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Avoided. That is a big man. The crowd responds accordingly. <laughs> they love him. He does his talking with his throws, Taz. Yeah, he soaks it in. He, good timing, gets his hips low. And, Hook. and he's just rolling here, baby. This crowd going crazy for Hook. He's trying another one, oh, but nice, JD's smart. Nice block there. Flatten it out. That's Whoa. right. JD Drake, look at this. Whoa. Maybe reverse DDT. No. Oh, look at this. Hook floats behind. He's got the Beautiful. red rum. The oh, red oh, rum oh. Is, is locked in. JD Drake is fading and tapping he's out. Done. Red rum. Red rum. Red rum. Hook is undefeated again. Happy birthday. Oh, uh, winner of this match. Hook. Well, Hook. Scoring yet another win. And, uh oh. Yeah. What is the hell is this? Oh, this is this. Another yeah. yeah. win. Crowd goes even yes. more crazy. Hook, it's Dan Housing. Yes, hello. You just decimated the Super Four here. That was quite wonderful. I don't know if you're watching before, though. But uh, that Tony Nice fellow, he seems to have challenged Dan Housing. And he, no doubt, shall have the one they call a menacing Mike Sterling in his corner. So, that being said, Dan Housen has a proposal for you. The crowd chanting Hookhausen already. Made their own shirts. Ah, yes, Hookhausen. That sounds good. I think I made that up. That's, uh, yes. So, perhaps you could be in Danhausen's corner. What say you? It's clear what this sold out crowd in Baltimore wants. Come on. Oh, don't put your hands on them. No. Oh. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> Love it. Hook better watch it, man. Dan has to throw some curses out on him. His hair will fall out. Well, we've seen that Hook is impervious to the curses. And he is... Oh, Hook. Look at that. He had a, he had a present. Oh. It's, the, it's, the... it's the birthday chips for his birthday, Taz. Well, obviously, Hook didn't realize that. Oh, wow. Well, you gotta, he, wrapped, he even put a, a bow on it. A little birthday bow on it. But Hook, with the birthday gift, maybe having having second thoughts here. Oh, or maybe not. He's leaving the present in the ring. 